Hey guys, in today's basic Spanish lesson, we're going to take a look at direct object pronouns. This is the first place where students who are really good at Spanish can start stumbling because it can be a little bit hard to wrap your mind around what a direct object pronoun is, what you do with it, where you put it, etc. So I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. So I'm going to give you in a sentence here, which is yo doy las flores. So to identify the direct object, first you need to, to identify the verb. In this case, it's doy, I give. The direct object answers the question, the direct question of what. What do you give? In this case, it's las flores. There we go. We know what the direct object is. Now we got to go back to the pronouns because we want to shorten these sentences, this sentence up. So it'll be like in English going from I give the flowers to I give them. In order to say them, we already have to be sure that the other person knows we're talking about flowers or it's not going to make any sense what we say. So las flores is quite easy. We have feminine plural, so we're going to go with the feminine plural. Yo las doy. Put it right, right before the verb. Yo las doy. Pretty simple. So ask yourself, what is the verb? What What is the what of the verb? I give. What do you give? The flowers. So tu llamas a mama. We'll do another example here, right? So you call. What do you call or who do you call? Mama. So a mama, this is feminine and this is singular, so we're going to go with la. Tu la llamas. You call her. So the most common uh, direct object pronouns are these here, lo, la, and los, las. For reasons, they're just the ones you're going to use most commonly. Um, where it gets a little bit, it, I don't want to say tricky, but it gets a little more complicated when you have multiple verbs. So yo quiero, I want to give flowers. Dar las flores. We already know las is the pronoun, so we could go the simple way. Yo las quiero dar. Or we could go a little more complicated. Yo quiero dar las. You can attach the direct object pronoun onto the end of the unconjugated verb. And you can also do this with the ando yendo of the present progressive. You can put it right on the end. However, many students find it at the beginning easier. Just to remember it goes in front. It's easier that way. They both mean the exact same thing. One is not more common than the other. Um, and if you want to make this negative, you put the no here. Yo no, no las quiero dar, no quiero dar las. And that's it. That's your direct object pronouns. Nos vemos.